Jesus. Love it, Jesus loves you. <coughs> um. Um, um, um. Sorry, I'm thinking. Uh. I don't know. I was I was in the store today and I was like you know, shopping, obviously. So and I was looking at different people and like my heart really goes out to people. Like my heart goes out to people. Like everybody's dying and I have the cure. I'm not the cure. <laughs> But I have the cure. Like, I know what the cure is. There's only one cure. For sin and death and hell. And also for a broken heart. Also for a heart that needs... God, needs love, needs holiness. There's only one cure. It's Jesus. He's God. We were made... We, the Bible says we were made by Jesus and for Jesus. So a, ca a car runs on gasoline and we were made to run on God, the Holy Spirit. So uh, there's Father, Son, Holy Spirit. and But the only way to heaven is through Jesus. The only way to the Father is through Jesus. Everything in the Bible is about Jesus. <laughs> and it even says, Everlasting Father, uh, Prince of Peace, Mighty God, Everlasting Father. So like Jesus, the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Jesus. Jesus is the Father. Some people will get upset at me. I don't really care. So, uh, um, but I believe it's important, like, I kind of think, like, Jesus is on the throne, like, the main throne, as the Father, and to his right, Jesus is sitting there, <laughs> and the Holy Spirit is Jesus, the Spirit of Jesus. So, like, I think it's important that we have, like, I feel like it's three different forms. So, like, it's all Jesus. Like, Jesus is on the main throne. Jesus is to the right. Jesus is the seventh... Anyways. So, but... Whether you believe it's one in three or three in one, whether it's one in three or three in one, that's not as important as believing that Jesus is fully God... You have to believe Jesus is fully God to be saved, to go to heaven. You also, what was the other thing? You also, like, you give your life to Jesus. You don't give your life to the Father or to the Holy Spirit. They point you to Jesus. Like, you give your control, uh, control of your life and allegiance to Jesus so there's no higher name than Jesus, Yahweh, Jehovah, God, Lord, no higher name than the name Jesus. So anyways, my heart goes out to people. I was in the store today. My heart goes out to people like, like I have the cure. It's Jesus. Like if something's missing in your life, it's Jesus. If you feel like there isn't something missing in your life, there is. His name is Jesus. So anyways, he's the best thing ever. He's the best person ever. He's the best possible God. He's the only God. He's the only way to heaven. Jesus there's a hole in there's a hole in our heart that only Jesus can fill. And the Bible says God is love. Jesus is love. So like it's it's unexplainable, the love of Jesus. It's amazing. Jesus is the only awesome one. I only use the word awesome for Jesus. Nobody else, nothing else. Jesus, don't use the word awesome unless you're talking about Jesus. 
Like, I literally don't use that word unless it's Jesus. Because he's the only awesome one. So, like, something can be amazing. Like, I, <laughs> I remember I heard a sermon. I heard a sermon in high school, and the preacher said that. Like, everybody's saying the word awesome, but only God is awesome. And I made a decision. This was even before I was a Christian. Before, I thought I was a Christian, but I wasn't. Uh, before I was even saved. So Jesus only used the word awesome for Jesus. And if you really like something, call it amazing. So, like, I had an amazing day. You know, whatever, whatever. So... Anyways, now what God does, God is the only awesome one. What God does, I haven't decided if that's awesome or amazing. <laughs> so only use the word awesome for Jesus. He's God. And the word amazing, you can use the word amazing. But uh, anyways, anyways. So we have a hole in our heart that only Jesus can fill. So the Bible says God is love, Jesus is love. Like we need his love. Like right now you may be hurting, you may be broken, depressed, lonely, tempted, uh, oppressed, anxious, scared, worried, upset, suicidal, like uh, homicidal, Whatever you are, uh, wherever you are, or you may be doing really good, I don't know. I go up and down. I have really good days, really bad days, days in the middle. So uh, wherever you're at, uh, Jesus is the cure. So like, like, eternally and salvation Jesus is the cure Jesus is the answer to fill our heart Jesus is the answer when you get saved Jesus through his Holy Spirit comes to live in our heart so we're complete but we still struggle we still suffer we're still persecuted so we still need Jesus like Jesus lives in me through his Holy Spirit but I still need Jesus. Like, I still pray to Jesus. Like, I still read the Bible. So, so I wanted to say, like, Jesus is love. So, but that's not his only attribute. Like, there, there's, there's, well, there's many aspects to God, obviously. Like, God is, God is all-powerful. God is all-knowing. Like, God knows God's knowledge is infinite. God's power is infinite. God is eternal. He has no beginning or end. He has all power, all knowledge, all wisdom, uh, all goodness, all holiness. So every attribute of God is holy. It doesn't say God is love, love, love. God is wrath, wrath, wrath. It doesn't say that. It says God is holy, holy, holy. So three times he's holy. Like he's holy. Like he's perfect. He's sinless. So like his main attribute is that he's perfect and holy and pure and righteous and godly and white, hot, pure. That's his main attribute. Holy, holy, holy. So, and I think that's his first attribute. I think his second attribute is love. I really do. Uh, so, another attribute is he's just and he has wrath. So, that's, we're all sinners on our way to hell, the lake of fire forever. That's his justice and his wrath. But his love is higher than that. Not higher than that. Like, he's equally just and equally loving. I don't know. Anyways, so 
we're all going to hell because we're sinners and we deserve it. But God loves us and he died for us. So, because he doesn't want us to go to hell. He doesn't want us to go to hell. And the Bible says he would that none would perish. So like God doesn't want anyone going to hell. He doesn't want anyone going to hell. And he died for the sins of the whole world. He died for the sins of the whole world. So anybody listening to me, everybody listening to me, he died for everyone and everything. Like his blood on the cross paid the price for every sin ever in the universe. And he doesn't want anyone going to hell because he loves us. Like he loves us. He doesn't want us going there. He died to pay for it. So we wouldn't have to go there. So like that. So he, he's, so he showed his justice. He showed his justice on the cross. Like he punished himself for our sin he, he took all, like, he took our hell and our punishment on the cross because he loves us. And then, so he died on the cross, shed his blood, rose from the dead three days later. And I was going to say, he's in heaven and he's everywhere. And the question is, do you want him in your heart to fill that void and not just that, but like, like without Jesus, we'll go to hell and he loves us and he's good. He's completely good. So we have to decide if we're going to give him our lives. And it, what it is, is true repentance and true saving faith, true, true repentance and true saving faith being born again is when you turn control of your life over to Jesus and it has to actually work. Like if it doesn't work, keep trying. It's like an atom bomb when it actually works. So you'll know it happened. So keep trying to give your life to Jesus. You just say, Jesus, from now on, whatever you want me to do, I'll do. And you know, bam, you give your life to Jesus. So like, it literally, you're becoming a slave. You're becoming a slave of Jesus. But he's the best master. I mean, he's God. Like, he's God. So we should be doing what he says anyways. Like, he's God and he knows what he's talking about. So, like, why wouldn't we listen to him? And he's perfect, loving, good, kind, generous... So, and not only we're his slave, but when we become his slave, he automatically makes us sons and daughters and brothers and sisters, and we're a part of his family. So, like, he's our master, but he's also our big brother, our older brother, and our God and best friend and... So, but the key is God is good. We have to trust that he's going to like lead us. We, sometimes he gives us exactly what we want. Other times he gives us the opposite of what we want. Other times we have to wait. So he's God and we're not, but he loves us. So anyways, like we're all going to hell, lake of fire forever, torture because we're sinners and it doesn't matter how good you are or how kind you are or how many good works you do. Like if you don't have Jesus, if you haven't had that atom bomb moment where your whole life changed, uh, you're going to go to hell. So it's, you're, you're going to go to hell, but if you give your life to Jesus, control of your life to Jesus, Jesus, from now on, whatever you want me to do, I'll do. And you give control. Like, I'm going to get whatever Jesus wants forever is what I'm going to do. And he's a good God. And uh, so that's true repentance and true saving faith. If, you're, if you give your life to Jesus, 
to always do what he wants you to do. You won't live in iniquity. You won't be a worker of iniquity. You won't you won't be a sinner. You won't be sinning. So you've repented. You turned your back on the sin. And you have faith like you've given everything to Jesus. So, uh... Um... A mark of a true Christian... A mark of a true Christian is holiness, righteousness, purity, love, love, truth. So, uh, and you won't be living in sin, like, uh, sexual immorality, drunkenness, getting drunk or high, sexual immorality, like, sorcery, lying... Like, all that stuff. Uh, that's why you gotta, like, re read the New Testament every day. So, but even if you... There's some people who look like they're, like, good and holy. But if you're not born again, if you didn't have that atom bomb experience where you gave your life to Jesus, you're still going to hell. So there can be, like, a pretty good person... But if they, if they don't know Jesus, if Jesus doesn't know them, they're going to hell. So, so it's possible for someone like, because true holiness starts with the Holy Spirit who lives in you. So if you're going to be truly holy, so someone may look good on the outside, but they have to have the Holy Spirit on the inside. Like, you have to have the Holy Spirit in you, the author of the Bible, living through you. So, anyways, if you're not holy, you're not going to heaven. If you haven't, like, had that atom bomb moment where you gave everything to Jesus, your whole life changed, you're not going to heaven. If you're living in sin, you're not going to heaven, so... Anyways, back to the beginning, like, my heart goes out to people because, like, they don't believe hell is, hell is real. Like, hell is a real place. People are there now, and a lot of people are going to go there, and they don't believe that Jesus loves them. Like, people need to know that God is love. Jesus, Jesus did everything possible to keep us out of hell. Like, he died for us. He wrote the Bible. He sent people like this video. Like this video is part of God trying to keep you out of hell. This video is part of God trying to keep you out of hell. So, um, anyways, so, so people don't realize hell is real and people don't realize how much Jesus loves them and that Jesus is the only way. So, anyways, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so, have a, uh, have a godly great day. It's not godly, it's not great. Love you, Jesus loves you. Jesus.